All right, now that we've got more juice in the tank. So let's see, we're gonna to need to probably turn this on. I should have done this before. Um, we're gonna turn on this iPad. Cause this is the one we're moving things to. This is the one we want to wipe first. Also, I do not remember. Is it just with the white outlined iPads that they had the white boot screen? Um, normally I'm buying, you know, black outlined. So iOS and iPad OS devices. So normally I see a black background with a white Apple logo. So this is, I think this is the first time I've ever turned on this iPad to see that there was actually a white background with a black Apple um, logo there. That was kind of something to see. I didn't think that was a thing. If, if you know the answer, please definitely comment below. Let me know if that's actually a thing. I don't really care for the white bezeled iOS devices because it's really bright, does not really go with anything that I do. Again, that's why I bought this one because again, it just looks solid black while it's off for the most part. At least, well, it's, it's, at least on camera it does, but you know, you can even kind of see where the screen is and where the bezel is. I can definitely see it in real life, but uh, yeah. So what we need to do here is we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna go to general reset and erase all content and settings. I'm gonna do a backup and erase because I have not made sure that her iPad is backed up. Again, we're going to pick her up a new one. So I want to make sure at least we can restore the new iPad to at least the last one that was backed up on today, which will be May 31st. I think that's right. What day is it? Oh, it's May 30th, to tomorrow's the 31st. Okay, geez, what, where have I been? So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this back up and then we'll come back with more of the erasing. All right, so it seems like everything backed up. It was fairly quick. I just whipped out my phone to take a look, just to kind of browse the internet for a bit, check some of my notifications. When this popped up, I wants to erase the iPad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap erase here. Yes, I want to erase it. All right, so now it's asking for the Apple ID password, which I think I know what it is, but just in case, I'll be right back. All right, so after confirming with the wife here, we got the password that again, see, again, I, I believe in security. That's why I do not know what my wife's password is. I don't, I don't care to know. It's a, it's a thing of like, again, just the most, you know, dramatic, since here, like, I, I, I don't want to be held at gunpoint and ask for my wife's password. I, 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 I mean, I don't think that'll ever happen, but it's a thing of like, if asked what anybody else's password is, I want to be able to tell them, I honestly do not know what that password is. And it, it's a thing like, I want to have that level of trust. Like I don't, it, it trust not so much like, I trust you with my password. Like, no, I want the person to trust, trust me and me able to be around their stuff and knowing that I'm not going to snoop. Like I do know the passcode to her iPad, but I don't know her actual account um, password. I don't have any biometrics on this device, which again, I can access, I could have accessed her iPad. I could have opened up things and that's the thing. I mean, I guess it goes that level of trust. I wouldn't do that, but like if I needed something, like I just need to quickly get on a browser, her iPad is normally downstairs when mine's up here. Um, in the studio, I can type in a little passcode, open up a browser or something like that. I'm not going through any apps, but it's that thing too where like, I'm not doing anything nefarious with her Apple um, ID account because it, re it would require either the biometrics or it would require her actual Apple ID password, which I don't know. Unfortunately, also being the IT person for the household, it, it's a lot of where, again, I had to turn off the camera to shout through the house or go find her and say, hey, what is your Apple ID password? And sorry, I'm, these fingerprints on this screen are bugging me a bit. So I'm gonna clean that off while we wait. All right, so the Apple ID, I mean, not the Apple ID, the iPad is ready to go. So we're gonna turn that on here. We're gonna select English, United States. So let's see, I am going to turn on the iPad mini here. Hopefully, so, this should work. So you're holding, oh, and I'm definitely holding down the volume button. Y'all didn't see that. All right, there we go. So to make sure that it's running iOS 11 or later, this again, this is running iOS 12 point something. I wanna say 12.5. I can't remember how high this got 
So I should be able to transfer everything from here to this iPad. Essentially what I want, what I'm trying to do is make sure this iPad look, I mean, this iPad looks like this one so that when I actually hand this over to my son, one, I wanna see if he'll even notice that it's a bigger iPad to begin with, or will he even care? So yeah, set this off to the side here. Hopefully it'll recognize, I'm wondering too. All right, let's just hit back. Let's see if it needs to kind of walk into the space. So, or does it need to have Bluetooth activated? So let's see, let me turn on, see if Bluetooth, well, it's on, oh, there we go. All right, there we go. So it says, set up new iPad, use Apple ID, that's my son's Apple ID. I'm gonna probably blur all this out. So set up new iPad, tap continue. So now it's connecting to this iPad. Now I need to bring this camera over to look at these dots. Okay. So now this one's waiting on this one. It's getting all the data. All right, now it's setting up this iPad. And this is how easy this is. Now, I'm not sure how many people have set up new iOS devices since then. This may be a completely redundant video and you're like, well, why is he even creating it? Well, I don't know. I just wanted to create some content just so I can create some. And I'm, in, I'm enjoying doing this. So I'm gonna set up Touch ID later. That's something that necessarily we don't need to worry about with my son. So I don't wanna use an iPad, I don't wanna use a passcode. Again, this is being set up for my son. There's nothing here that we're worried about locking down too much. The only thing is like, yeah, we'll need is Apple ID, which I know what it is. I'm gonna tell you something right now. This is already infinitely faster than what I've been dealing with here. So like typing in his password on here is an act of Congress because the keyboard was lagging. And like, it's not a, it's not a fun time. It was not a fun time with this. So I'm kind of glad I am moving him off of this and putting him on here. Eventually I'm going to look to see what version of, I, what, what version iPad this is. But yeah, this is, this has been purchased within probably like the last three or four years, as opposed to this one that was purchased. I'd almost say a decade ago, but I've only been my wife for 11 years. So I don't know, this iPad was purchased a time ago, maybe about 20, I would say probably 2012, 2013. So let's see, I want to restore. Okay, so it says, Katie's iPad was last backed up on May 29th, 2021. Wow, I actually have backups for his iPad, which is, you know, forward thinking of me. Would you like to back up now so you can restore your new iPad with your most recent apps? Did it? Yeah, no, I'm okay. Because there's nothing on here. So I'm gonna. All right, so now over here, it's saying that we're done. This iPad is done. We can go ahead and wipe this one, but I want to make sure that I'm gonna disable location services, actually. No, I'm gonna keep it on. In the event that if we do take it somewhere, I would like to be able to have it, in, I would like to have Find Mine stuff like that working, so that way if we lose it, I can still find it. So let's see, keep it a default light. And now it's restoring from iCloud. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let that happen. And when this is completed, I'll wipe this one. That way I can make sure, or it looks like it's actually not gonna take the long, cause again, wasn't much on here to begin with. So yeah, let's see, this iPad is running 12.5.3. iPad storage. So it's 32 gigabytes of storage on this iPad. So yeah, I'd be curious, I'd be curious to see kind of when, like how much storage is actually on here. I don't remember. I want to say the 64 gigs, not like it's going to matter because he was only using 12 gigs of 32. But yeah. So hopefully when this comes back up, we'll have PJ Match running on iPad. So yeah, let's let this restore and uh, we'll, we'll get back to it. All right. So should be ready to go. We're back here at the screen up here. The restore has been completed. And as you can see, it's looking very, very colorful under here. So we're going to continue. Not going to worry about Touch ID because again, where he again, this is his tablet. We want to make sure he gets instant access to it. So we're going to not use a passcode. Use passcode. So we're going to agree to terms and conditions. Uh, we're not using Siri. Welcome to iPad. And boom! There we go. We now have pj mask running on this new ipad so now we don't need this anymore what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to take so as you can see here we now have the more advanced ipad features see when i hold that one okay hold on so when i hold this one yeah it just moves like there's no context menu there's no context menu just wiggles i don't know why i'm moving it i really don't care and of course yeah just 
hit the home button, make everything stop. All right, so get notified, we're gonna get notification stuff that popping up. But yeah, so this is with iPad OS. You can tell we are running the latest version of I iPad OS. You get the context menu when you hold things down. I'm gonna take these apps, I'm gonna move it over in here. Call that a day. Looks like we've got some stuff going on here. So it said storage. So yeah, this iPad is, so 32 gigabytes of storage. It actually uses less data, but I imagine it's because of the fact that the um, apps that are on here have not necessarily been transferred over to this device. Um, let's see, finish setting up. Okay, so it's just still wanting me to do this stuff here. I guess it won't go away, which, oh, okay, there it goes. All right, so it's gone. All right, so yeah, it should be good to go. Oh yeah, let's actually see here. See general software updates. So yeah, it looks like he actually has, we have an update here. It does not say which version. So I imagine he's running iPad OS 14.5. Yeah, what we're gonna do here is I'm actually just going to download the inst download the update, let that come through. And as you can see, it's updating, downloading some more apps. What I'm going to do, pop in here, look, we've got Apple Arcade. Also, if we wanna see, yeah, the difference between app stores, the 12.5 versus the 14.5. So it's not that much different, but like, I'm not sure if you can see like at the bottom, like we got today, games, apps. So here on 12.5, it's updates. Whereas on iPadOS 14.5, you have the Apple Arcade, which is where we're gonna go in a second. Actually, I need to verify if my Apple Arcade subscription can be shared to his. So that's another thing I need to look into. But yeah, so in order to get updates on 14.5, if you did not know, you come into the account and you'll start, you should start seeing updates and stuff come through here. But again, because it's a new setup device, there's really no updates to be had. See, I'm gonna pop into the arcade here. I'm gonna see if he actually does have access to it. So I should be sharing it. So yeah, here's all the games. And what I am looking for, oh, there it goes. Cut the rope, remastered, tap get. Okay, so so this parental stuff is in place, so it's gonna ask me. There it goes, Re so yeah. There we go, request, request from Caden, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap that. He's requesting this application, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit approve. Gain my face in, lets him know, hey, I approve the request. And there it is, it's downloading to the app as we seek. So he does have access to my Apple Arcade. Now, I wouldn't be concerned about this at any other point because of the fact that I would have paid for Apple Arcade through Apple, got that subscription, shared it with my family. The thing I am concerned, the thing I am concerned about is the fact that I have it through Verizon and I had to activate it on my specific phone in order to use it to where I was afraid that Apple, that Verizon's version of the Apple Arcade through my service plan will limit it, will actually just limit it to my one device or to one, what I thought, and of course now my wife is calling. I, one, I thought it was gonna limit it to my device. I found out that was not the case because I was able to just download apps to my iPad Pro which also shared the same account. So of course, naturally the next thing was, well, okay, if it can share to my account, does it share with the rest of my family as well? To where I have now confirmed that because my son who is on my family plan account through Apple ID can get access to my Apple Arcade. So for those who are, who, who can get access like the Google, um, the Google Play Store that I think they have like a app, like a game arcade type thing, excuse me, or Apple Arcade for those on iOS you can actually redeem it on one device and get access to it through your whole family. So it is a year of Apple Arcade, it is a year of Google's version of it for the entire family and not just one device, which I was definitely afraid of. And again, it even applies to devices that are not on Verizon. So if you have family members who, you know, may share, at least, or at least, I don't know how that is with Google. I know at least with Apple. If you have family members who have iPads that aren't on Verizon, whether it's a completely Wi-Fi version like this tablet here, or if they have iPhones on T-Mobile or AT&T or on TELUS, like if they're in another country, I'm not sure how country share, how sharing works overseas with the US, but hey, at least you can share your access with other devices. And there you go. Now, unfortunately, no, one, I can tell you, yeah, this 
is working a lot faster than launching original cut the rope on his iPad mini two. So I'm gonna tap and hold here and there we go. So we're not done here. There's definitely one more piece of this in the works here where it's, uh, it's currently en route to the house. Once we get that done, we get that bad boy slapped on here and we'll be ready to present this to uh, Caden. Really excited, I'm really excited for it. So yeah, stay tuned. Oh, hey, thanks you for watching the video. Hope you really enjoyed it. Of course, really help me out if you like, comment, and subscribe, and click the little bell icon so that you can get notified of many more videos that appear on this channel. Thank you, and peace out.